chronofeminism is a different experience of the temporal, a feminist experience of the temporal. Um, and again, it is, it, it is informed by the fact that there are multiple ways of looking at something, always multiple ways. Um, temporality in the Western tradition, conventional Western tradition, has become tied to industrial time, which is tied to industry and to the commodification of time, uh, so that you know it is through the commodification and industrialization of time that the world becomes a kind of endless warehouse that mega corporations can exploit. So you cannot picture uh, a, a, a corporation like Amazon, for instance, existing without a specific notion of time. So temporality is is truly chronic, uh, you know, you could say, uh, you know, it comes cr from Kronos, the ancient Greek god of time, um, who's the story of which I don't fully know, but I know he was quite a wicked, wicked god, so it's quite fitting. Um, but in, in Yoruba tradition, for instance, or in Yoruba metaphysics, uh, time is measured Historically, time is measured in very different ways. So uh, you have years that are female and years that are male, months that are measured according to the moon. Weekdays are given names uh, that have to do with uh, consociation or, uh, or victory, uh, things like that. So they have a metaphysical meaning. Um, Seconds are, are measured with the blinking of, of a crab's eye. Um, and these are the kinds of notions of understanding time, like so many other things, that Europatriarchal knowledge has diminished and ridiculed um, to the point where, you know, people around the world uh, don't value their own systems anymore. Uh, they don't value the fact that that kind of understanding of temporality, for instance, is so connected to nature and to the, the, the rhythm of daily life and the rhythm of being part of a natural ecosystem. And the same goes for uh, women's time, because even though women are, of course, also living in westernized societies, our, our bodies and the, the fact of our uh, exclusion and our oppression in patriarchal societies means that we have a very different relationship to time uh, than, than boys and men do. Uh, from very early on, uh, you know, girls are made to feel aware that time has, uh, time needs to be domesticated. Uh, so that they also can be domesticated from the kinds of toys that girls are playing with to um, uh, that are already connoting a space time in which a, a girl will become a woman and her role as a woman will be to, to perform caring duties because the vast majority of toys for girls are still today um, about caring duties, nursing, cooking, all of this kind of thing. Um, and then, of course, uh, as a girl approaches puberty and gets her period, uh, then there's another connotation of time, that time is sort of uh, has run out for her to be a child. Um, and then there's a, a rush to, uh, as she gets a bit older, there's a rush to secure a partner uh, before she's too old. And then she's too old. So then, you know, time is just a, a, a very specific thing in a female life uh, in a way that it isn't necessarily in a male life. And so chronofeminism is, uh, is, is when through feminist work, through feminist presence uh, and sensuous knowledge in, in this instance, uh, contributing toward that, 
contributing to, to embodying feminism. Um, through that embodiment, when a woman or a man or a person of any gender um, starts to have a different temporal experience. So I may be in the same space with another woman experiencing the exact same thing. Maybe we are uh, being mansplained something in a meeting, um, let's say, uh, and maybe quite even sort of pushingly, brutally, offensively so. And for me, maybe because I, I have uh, feminist tools um, and I've been, uh, you know, I've been working on a feminist transformation for most of my life now, um, I may position myself toward this experience in a way that, um, I mean, I, I may not, I may, I may freeze and not know what to do, but I may also have the right language. Um, I may be able to turn this experience in a way that when I leave the space, it feels to me like it was, uh, you know, an event in my day that lasted for the amount of time that it lasted, whatever, 10 minutes, let's say. For a woman who, uh, perhaps hasn't understood the ways in which uh, time among many other qualities can be used in the oppression of women um, and who, who maybe doesn't have the kind of conceptual tools or the feminist uh, spirit inculcated within her, um, she may feel those 10 minutes as lasting an hour, um, if not days or years, she may leave that um, experience sort of deeply wounded and affected over a long course of time. And so chronofeminism is when feminism has a, a literal effect on one's perception of time. <laughs>